Who? Ra. This is going to be part two. Y'all going to love this one. Part two was fire, but this one is going to be something. I am Dr. Minister Vermont Prince for the OM Institute, Church of Christ Consciousness for Worldwide Hope. Welcome to another sermon of Naked Church. This video right here is going to show you the secret formula or code to manifesting your reality. You see the numbers at the top, one through nine, the regular numbers. That right there is the code that we've been given. We are told like 10, 11, 12, 13 numbers are infinite. They go on and on and on, right? Okay. But that's not factual. If you take 10, that's really one plus zero is one. If we take 11, that's one plus one is two and so forth and so on. Every number beyond that nine can be broken down to any number from one to nine. Right? That's what I told you in the last video. So, now I'm going to explain this to you really quick. Those numbers up there that you see at the top are wrong. They're incorrect. Those are complicated versions that are meant to throw you off. Really, what I said in the last video, when you see two, that's really the number one twice. Three is the number one three times. Four is the number four, one, four is the number one four times, so forth and so on. So it'll look like this pyramid down here, all the way up to nine. That's what I taught y'all last time. I said, when you really realize there's nothing but that number one, that's when you begin to see. Now, what are we really seeing? And I explain it to you. So, what you're seeing there is the or original version of the pyramid. The thing that is on the other page that is shown as number one is not a number one. Number one doesn't have a hook in it. It actually does. And we're in a matrix. We're inside of a holographic simulated a, a holographic virtual reality time loop simulation program. And on this program, this program is not bad. Let's put it that way. It's actually so-called good. There's a virus put on this program, which is so-called bad. The virus is complications of the truth. Stuff, there are the many things on this in this program that are true. Or that are necessary, let's call it that. And then there are things that are unnecessary that complicate the program so that we can't figure it out. Which is what we're here to do. One of them is stuff like that, number one with the hook in it. Number one does not have a hook in it. It's like these numbers right here that you see. The close up on them, they're just a straight line. And as I said in the last video, I don't want to keep telling you too much what I said in the last video. But what I said is... That it's the opposite of what you're seeing. You're seeing a white background with, with black lines. But it's really a black background with white lines. Because the black background is the womb. This right here, which I'm going to go more into right now. We are in a binary system. This matrix is a binary system. And we've been told that the binary, binary system looks like this. Again, a number one doesn't have a hook in it. And actually, the number zero is not oblong. It's not like oval shaped. It's an actual 360 round perfect circle. People have a problem with the word perfect circle, but we're not going to get into all that. So that's we've been taught that binary code looks something like this. It doesn't have to be these exact numbers, but something like this. When that's not factual, binary code doesn't look like that. It actually looks would look like this it will look like this that's binary code but without the hooks it will be actual lines white lines on a black background all of this will be take see in the first in the first version i'm gonna show you this 
they attempt to make you believe that the one to zero coexists. The zeros and the one coexist together and form a pattern. That's not actual. That's not factual. What actually goes on is this. This is inside of a giant circle or womb. A black womb with white lines on it. And not hook lines like that. Those are hook lines that's closer to the number seven. In appearance. They want to make you think that this is the legit number system. But it is not. This is not the legit number system. And the camera's moving a little bit because I'm holding it in the hand. And I'm moving it. As I'm talking, I'm vibrating a little bit. And it's, you know, I'm resting the arms on the, on the, on my, on the knees. So as I talk and I vibrate, it shakes the camera a little bit. So let me see if I could do this. Okay, maybe that'll help. So, not really. Usually what I do is I put something in and I just let it do the job for me. I just like kind of hold it somewhere. Put it against something and that way I don't hold it. But anyway, you know, that's not irrelevant. Um, they make you think that this is the real number system, but it's not. Like when you look at the, the keypad on the phone, you'll see this. But you'll also see that zero. Zero is not a number. It's a power. Think about it. It has no value in and of itself. But when you add it to the front or the back of something, if you put zero in the front before a number, it'll decrease it. If you put it behind the number, it'll increase it. Like O2 is way less than 2O. O3 is way less than O, you know, according to the value system, than 3O. So that's... This is the game they attempt to play, making you think that this is the real number system. This is how they trick us out of our power. This is the game that the system plays with us. This is not the real number system. Now, you see how it lies up three numbers on the top, three numbers in the, in the middle, three on the bottom, right? That's even. But I'm going to show you a trick real quick. All right, y'all, I'm going to go a little faster because I'm hitting almost eight minutes and I don't want a long video. When you put the number system like this, it's false. Because you see it balances out with five at the center, four on each side. One to four, then it's five, then six to nine. Five would be the middle number or the balance, what would be called the pole. There cannot be a pole because that would make five greater than the other numbers. If you see what I'm saying. And five cannot be greater than the other numbers. All the numbers have to be equal of equal value. In, in respectively. So that's why in case five, that would be wrong. They were all rest of them would be like subordinates to five. That's not the real thing. So that's telling you right there that something is wrong. That's why I had to be breaking down the other way. This is why it has to be broken down like this in order for it to be even and balanced for every number to be even. Now, I'm going to show you a trick. Look, watch how these numbers add up. When you go down from one, four, seven, it comes out to six because it's 12. It comes out to 12. One plus two is three. I mean, not six. It comes out to uh, three. Then you have two, five, eight. You see the 258? Yeah, that's 15. 1 plus 5 is 6. Then you have the 369, which is 18. 1 plus 8 is 9. So you have 3, 6, and 9. That's the Tesla numbers. Those numbers are inaccurate. And I'm going to show you how and why and how it's a psyop to get us away from the truth and can help suppress our natural powers and abilities. Watch this. Look what happens when you go sideways with that. One, two, three. That comes out to six. Four, five, six. You see it? Comes out to 15. One plus five is six. Seven, eight, nine. You see it? You see the seven, eight, nine? The seven plus the eight is 15. Plus the nine is 24. Two plus four is six. Six, six, six. This number system is what the biblical Bible is talking about the mark of the beast. We use this number system for everything. You have to be to work at a specific time. Numbers. Your paycheck is a specific amount. Numbers. Um, your car goes a specific miles per hour. Numbers. 
uh, they say fill up the tank to a certain amount. You watch the gauge. The gauge goes by numbers. Even letters have numerical value. So when you're using words and writing letters and words, you're really writing numbers and code. But that's everything. Your birthday, your date of birth, your social security, your height, your weight. Everything is a number. But we're using the false number system. That's what I'm trying to convey. So if you're using a false number system, this one through nine, you're dealing with 666 or the mark of the beast. I'm going to show you what's the real number system. And that's going to be coming up in the next video with the next number, the next video, part three. I will show you the new number system, the correct number system. I knew the correct one. So just let you know, I'm not your average priest. It's not your grandma's religion. I might not like you, but I love you. Jesus Christ was a woman who came to teach Itaqua, which means the royal path to the throne, which is the 1080 love frequency. In other words, which way to live in order to reach love, which is at the 1080 frequency. Jesus Christ, the woman taught Om Chigaga, which is, you know what it is? You remember? EYS, embrace your sexuality, Om Chigaga. Sex is the gateway to God. Sex as the gateway to source or all connectedness. That's the greatest secret. One of the greatest secrets in history. Next video, I'll show you the correct number system. Rahu.